And given these more shallow party tracks toward the back end of this album, uh, they still sound unique. Nobody is doing tracks like this quite like Danny is. However, it's still hard for me personally to, to not get sick of them at least a little bit as I'm listening to this album from beginning to end. I'm feeling a decent to strong seven on this thing. Not too much more for me to say about the album broadly. I mean, it's just a really great collection of tracks. A few duds here and there, but that's it. The vibe is definitely more casual than that of Danny's other core projects, but it also speaks to his talent and his artistry for him to drop a project of this caliber without having to overthink it. I'm feeling a strong seven to a light eight on this one. On this LP, there are a lot of moods and styles, sounds, layers, and personality comes on strong. It comes on kind of weird too. Don't listen to this and just observe it at the surface. Scratch below, interpret, think, observe, and enjoy. I'm feeling a light to decent eight on this. I think it's great. And with that track, this thing ends aggressively, abruptly, and in a very disorderly fashion. Definitely leaving the hose scared and maybe even scarred. <laughs> I'm feeling a light nine on this LP. Yeah, it rules. Hopefully uh, his fans stick with him and keep their minds open for what he's doing here because I really do think he's making some of his best music yet on this project. I'm feeling a light to decent nine on this thing. I'll take a nine. Nine is fine.